President Balatinobu has sworn in Justice Kodirat Kekereakon as the acting Chief Justice of Nigeria. Justice Kekereakon, who is the second in line among the justices of the Supreme Court, was recommended to the President by the National Judicial Council. President Tinobu says the acting CJN has established a reputable and incorruptible record all through her career. The president urged Justice Kodirat Kikiriakon to be faithful and loyal to the Constitution and defend the judiciary's independence. He says his administration will continue to support Moors to improve the welfare and capacity of the Nigerian judiciary. Justice Kikiriakon is the second female chief justice of Nigeria after Justice Loma Miriam Mukhtar, who was sworn in in 2012. The new CJN is also the fifth female justice to be elevated to the Supreme Court. is for the benefit of the entire nation. Whatever the uh, shortcomings that we see today, we're all members of the society. So if we want to see improvement, let the improvement start with each and every one of us and our approach to justice. Let us all also have faith in the system. And then we we'll also be more particular about the process of appointment. I know it gives a lot of um, concern, discipline on the bench and the bar as well. All these things are aspects that we we'll look into. To all Nigerians, I think it's another moment for us to be thankful. She will be, you know, uh, the second female Chief Justice of the Federation, and, and what a time. Um, uh, we're indeed excited. We're excited not just because she's a Lagosian, I am, but because of who she is. You know, she's been an outstanding jurist, you know, and from her resume, she's one of the only very few people that started first, you know, just as a lawyer, you know, and also passing through all of the various courts. In this next report, we bring you a few things you need to know about the new acting chief justice of Nigeria, Justice Kudirat Kekireko. Kudirat Motomori Olatokumbo was born on the 7th of May 1958 in London, United Kingdom. She is popularly known as Kudirat Kekireko, a Nigerian jurist and justice of the Supreme Court. In 1980, she received a bachelor's degree in law from the University of Lagos and was admitted to the bar on the 10th of July 1981, having graduated from the Nigerian Law School before she proceeded to the London School of Economics, where she received master's degree in law in November 1983. In October 2022, she was conferred with the Nigerian National Honor of Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic by former President Muhammad Buhari. Justice Kudrat Kekirekun joined the Lagos State Judiciary as senior magistrate too, and rose to the position of the state high court judge. She served as a chairman of Robbery and Fire Hamster Bruna, Zone 2 Ikeja between November 1996 to May 1999. She was appointed to the bench of the Nigerian Court of Appeal in 2004, before appointment as a justice of the Supreme Court of Nigeria in July 2013. In 2020, Kudrat Kikirekun was on the seven-man panel that sacked Imo State Governor Emeka Iedioa and declared Hope Uzodima of the All Progressive Congress as winner. Our State House correspondent Femi Akonde joins me now for more updates on this. Femi, you know, history being made again, the second uh, female being sworn in as acting Chief Justice of Nigeria. What was the mood at the presidential villa where this took place? Well, indeed, the president was excited to be uh, the president and commander-in-chief at a time when uh, the second chief justice of Nigeria will be sworn in acting capacity before the Senate will then um, confirm her as a substantive uh, chief justice of Nigeria. And also, you know, she is the fifth female uh, chief justice of uh, the fifth female justice to be elevated uh, to the Supreme Court of Nigeria. The president also, you know, noted uh, or mentioned and acknowledged this um, record and feat that she has been able to achieve over the years all through uh, her career and also said that you know this uh, should also be an inspiration for women aspiring to smash uh, the glass ceilings in their uh, professions or choosing um, 
field of, um, of endeavors, he urged her to, you know, to stand firm for the judiciary and also defend the independence of the judiciary. And for Mr. President, it was also uh, a feeling of nostalgia, you know, considering the fact that uh, Justice uh, Kikereoku also uh, served most of her years in a Lagos state, and she was also uh, uh, once the chief judge, the judge of the uh, Lagos State High Court. I uh, you know Mr. P President would, um, over time, have also, you know, closely monitored her progress, her uh, professional career, and he had qu quite commended her and with high hopes that, indeed, now that she is the one at um, the top seat of the Nigerian judiciary that it would uh, mean that, you know, uh, the judiciary would have to do so much in defending the country's democracy. He also commended uh, the former Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Kyle Ariwola, you know, who under his tenure, the president signed that bill, increasing the salaries and wages of judicial officers by uh, more than 300 percent. And for Justice Kekere, who coming in at this point when there's that um, new impetus injected into the judiciary by that bill signed by uh, President Bola Tenubu. So a lot is expected of her. And President Bola Tenubu says, yes, indeed, uh, that a lot rests on her shoulder and that he would continue to give that support from um, the point of the executive to ensure that the judiciary uh, succeeds. Indeed. And aside the well wishes, a lot, you know, really rests on her shoulders. But was she able to say anything about what she was, you know, what she looks forward to doing well in office? Well, she said that she also looks forward to, you know, taking um, the judiciary f uh, to that um, place where Nigerians um, desire it to be, where truth and justice uh, will be upheld, no matter uh, who is, uh, it doesn't matter uh, who is involved now, that uh, we are also, you know, the judiciary will be seen as the hope of uh, the common man. And also talking about uh, that uh, caution, justices of the Supreme Court must uh, ensure in carrying out um, their duty because, you know, their judgment is a finality. And so uh, they must uh, be carefully, uh, they must uh, carefully, you know, adhere to the laws and the constitution in delivering uh, judgments and uh, making pronouncements uh, or interpretations that would have uh, an effect or an impact on um, Nigerians. So she clearly, uh, from what she says, she clearly says she understands uh, the task at hand. And of course, she's not um, new to the judiciary all her life. She has a, 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 a professional career, you know, starting from a, from a lawyer, rose through the ranks from a magistrate court to um, a chief George up to uh, the position of the CGA. So she's somebody who has uh, rose through the ranks and, you know, learned the ropes uh, along the line. And uh, a lot of people expect with that wealth of experience that she would indeed be able to steer the affairs of the judiciary or the judicial arm of government properly. Abbasadeh. All right, Femi, thank you very much for that very detailed update for us uh, on the swearing of the acting CGN. Femi Akonde for us in Abuja.